What would a nuclear detonation look like in space? This is one of those questions that sounds like a hypothetical you would discuss at a bar, but it's also one that's been tested a number of times, and was recorded. As you would expect, it's a bright flash followed by an expanding explosion. Unlike detonations in the atmosphere, a detonation in space comes with a number of differences. For one, the fireball is much larger. In the atmosphere, air pressure confines the size of the fireball by crushing down on it after it's expanded to a certain diameter, depending on yield. In space, there is no counter pressure, so the ball of plasma expands indefinitely until it cools and fades away. The shockwave is also far less destructive. On Earth, a nuclear bomb, and all explosions for that matter, derive most of their destructive force from compressing the air around it into a blast wave. In space, there is no air to compress, so the blast wave is limited to the immediate area around the bomb. The plasma and radiation pressure decreases with distance. This is why using a nuclear bomb to push an asteroid or propel a spacecraft requires the detonation to be very close to the target or reaction mass like water is added to give it more mass to push against. And lastly, the bomb will generate an intense electromagnetic pulse. Nuclear bombs detonating in the atmosphere produce EMPs due to the gamma ray flux scattering electrons and some more complex interactions that don't really matter for this video. In the atmosphere, the air absorbs the gamma rays more, limiting the range of the EMP effect. In space above the planet, there is far less air to absorb the gamma rays, resulting in more Compton scattering, which produces high-energy electrons. The streams of electrons interact with the Earth's magnetic field and produce a very intense oscillating current, which can damage electrical devices below by inducing voltages. This happened a number of times, the most notorious being the US Starfish Prime test, which accidentally knocked out communications on Hawaii and eroded a British satellite that had just been launched. Nuclear tests in space will also generate short-lived local aurora-like patterns and produce human-made radiation belts that interact with the natural ones. So they might look pretty and are silent, but they have the capacity to do a lot of damage. It's also a common nuclear strategy to plan to send a handful of weapons to detonate in space above your target to knock out communications before the main salvo. So in its own disturbing way, this would also offer a warning if an attack is imminent, the TV won't be blaring a warning right until impact. Impact comes shortly after everything goes quiet. <laughs> 